Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Okay you guys, so this is gonna be a really, really quick Walmart haul. This was not supposed to be a Walmart haul. I was supposed to be going to Walmart very quickly to get some Premier Protein Shakes, and then I ended up picking up a couple of things. So I just wanted to share with you guys like some snack ideas and just a few things that I picked up while I was there. I was picking up the Premier Protein Shakes because I tried a coffee mix with the Premier Protein Shake and it was really, really good. It tastes just like an iced coffee. Um, and I just wanted to pick up some more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the haul. Okay, so the first thing I got are these um, Cheese Wisp. They are really, really crunchy. They kind of remind you of, mm, I don't know if I want to say a crouton, but you can definitely snack on these if you want something other than pork rinds or something like that. This has a different taste. It's 100% cheese and um, they have different flavors. I think they had like a tomato and herb one. Um, I chose this bacon and barbecue cheese crisp and it's two carbs per serving and the serving size is about 23 of the crisp and so for the whole bag it's only four carbs pretty much so it's two carbs here it's only two carbs for the whole bag i mean two servings for the whole bag so this whole bag is four carbs so if you have like a really you know you want a salty type of crunchy flavor to feel like you're eating some chips or something you definitely might want to pick this up and i got this close to the produce area the next thing i saw was this spinach dip from market side um it looked like it was really good and chunky when i was about to check out uh, they had a like a parmesan spinach and artichoke dip and i was gonna get that one but it was a little more expensive so i was like well let me just try the spinach dip first just to see if i like it but when i got in the line the lady in the line was like the artichoke one is so good too she was like her and her husband eat it all the time so i was like okay next time i will try that one this is two carbs for two tablespoons and it's only one sugar so i was thinking maybe i can pair these two together or maybe um with some pork rinds so i got some spinach dip the next thing i got were these sugar-free um toffee candies and it's made with stevia extract these actually taste really really good um they're kind of small um sorry i already ate one <laughs> So, um, this is the size of them, and they actually are really, really good. Um, I think for two pieces, it's about one carb, one net carb. So, here it has 16 carbs, um, less than one fiber, but it has 15 sugar alcohols, which you can subtract from the overall carb count to get your net carbs. So, it is only one net carb for um, two pieces so these barely affect your sugar and even though they don't i don't try to go crazy and like eat a whole bag normally i'll eat maybe one or two throughout the day if i'm having a sweet tooth okay the next thing i got is it's kind of high on carbs um so this is like if you're doing modified keto or lazy keto kind of like me this one is a little bit higher in carbs they're broccoli and cheese tots I definitely wanted to try it because, you know, I just wanted to try something different. So for the serving size for this is six, six pieces and it's 14 carbs, but it's five fibers. So um, it's nine net carbs for six of these. So if you're having like 40 or 50 carbs per day, something like that, then you can work this into your diet plan. The next thing I got are these cheddar little smokies. So they have cheese on the inside of them. And for five links, it is two carbs. I really do like little smokies. I feel like they have a lot of flavor and the cheese does not hurt. So I decided to just go ahead and pick these up. Maybe to do like a faux pigs in a blanket type of thing. Or I don't know, maybe just have them as a snack because I really like the flavor of these. 
the next thing I got is this bacon um, I usually get this like thick sliced bacon either from Walmart or I'll get the Kroger brand from food for less um, if you do have a food for less in your area bacon is expensive and I just don't even waste my time trying to get a one pound of bacon or 12 ounces I just go for the gusto and get three pounds because I love bacon and I put bacon pretty much I eat bacon daily pretty much so I definitely wanted to pick this up I think this is like $14 the one at food for less I think is a little cheaper it's more like 12 bucks but it's definitely worth it the next thing I got is this real good um, pizza it's four carbs per serving so it's two servings for the entire pizza so it's eight carbs for the whole thing I have never tried real good um, but I've heard good things about it so I definitely wanted to give it a try I got the supreme pizza which is mozzarella cheese pizza sauce vegetables Italian sausage pepperoni and the crust is made of chicken breast and Parmesan cheese so that should be interesting I'm not sure how this will come out but hopefully it is real good <laughs> So I did pick up a ton of sauces like I am a sauce person and I feel like it just makes everything takes, taste a hundred times better. So if I can find low carb like sauces and stuff, then I'll definitely pick them up. The first thing I got was this Parmesan garlic wing sauce. If you guys have checked out my channel, you already know I have a Parmesan garlic wing recipe. But I definitely wanted to try this one out because it's only one carb per serving and you know i just wanted to try some different stuff out just to you know just change it up the more i can change it up i feel like the more i'm likely to stick to keto so that's that that's the first sauce the second sauce i got is this chef antonio dipping sauce i guess it's for pizza i was thinking of maybe dipping that real good pizza with this dipping sauce it's a garlic sauce and i absolutely love garlic and um for two tablespoons it is only one carb so um i think that you could probably use this for more than just pizza so um i definitely want to try a different type of dipping sauce so i got that um the next thing i got is some caesar dressing from brianna's i don't know if you guys have ever had brianna's dressing but almost every dressing that I've had from her or this brand is delicious. I especially love their wine one, the blush wine one, and also the honey mustard. Now those aren't keto, but this one is keto approved. This is two carbs per two tablespoons. And I would say that this is a really good brand. And the cheapest that I have seen it was at Walmart. This was under $2 and normally it's about $4. The next thing I got, my top fell off of it, I'm sad, but the next thing I got is some Zesty Ranch dipping sauce just to change it up a little bit and give it a little spice instead of just a regular ranch. And this one is um, less than one carb per serving, so I thought that this would be good with maybe some full fried chicken or grilled chicken, just something to dip it in. So. Yes, some zesty dipping sauce. I wanted to definitely try this one out. The next thing I got, it's not a sauce, but it's um, garlic parmesan popcorn seasoning. But if I'm not mistaken, I heard people saying that they've used this to put it on their vegetables to give it flavor and on a whole bunch of other stuff other than just popcorn. So I was thinking maybe putting it on um, like some of my veggies or maybe even trying to sprinkle it on top of some pork rinds just to give it a different flavor and this is actually zero carbs so you can definitely use this liberally and you know try to change up the flavor of something that you're cooking um, or maybe a snack the next thing I got I am so excited for and it is the um, G Hughes um, honey mustard and I, well, I know that um, G Hughes has a barbecue sauce that's very popular in the keto community. And when I saw this honey mustard, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy because I love honey mustard and I have not been able to find any any honey mustard that was keto friendly. I really, really, really hope that this tastes good because I love honey 
honey mustard. Like I love it for dipping. I love it for salads. It's just my favorite, favorite flavor. And this is um, one carb per two tablespoons. So I'm so, so happy about this. So yes, G Hughes honey mustard. So that is all of the things that I got other than my premier protein shakes. So this is the caramel flavor. I've never tried this before. The only one that I've had is the vanilla. So I wanted to try the caramel. I've seen people use just regular black coffee and then mix the caramel in it and make kind of like a iced coffee or you know not a frappe but like an iced coffee type of drink so i definitely want to try that today okay so i did try the premier protein shake vanilla with coffee last night and it was really really good and it just gave it just satisfied that sweet tooth that coffee tooth like everything so i'm definitely going to try it with the caramel but then when i was there i saw that they actually have a new flavor which is cafe latte so i mean you have the coffee right here you could just pour this directly over ice maybe add some sugar-free chocolate syrup or something like that and make it mocha i'm not exactly sure but i'm definitely going to experiment with these two um and they're more expensive at my local grocery store i think that they're more like ten dollars for each one of these and at walmart they were 686 so it's definitely a steal and a lot of stuff you can find for a lot cheaper um, at your local Walmart. So I hope that you guys got some good ideas. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you guys tried any of these and you like them, let us know in the comment section below because some a lot of these things I'm trying for the very first time. So I hope that you enjoyed this haul and until my next video, have a blessed day, have a blessed week, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.